I, uh, I think that the last thing he wants now is a Cold War. Without quoting him, which I don't think is appropriate, let me ask you a rhetorical question. You got a multi-thousand-mile border with China. China is moving ahead, hell-bent on election, as they say, seeking to be the most powerful economy in the world, the largest and the most powerful military in the world. You're in a situation where your economy is struggling. You need to move it in a more uh, uh, aggressive way than in terms of growing it. And uh, you uh, — I don't think he's looking for a Cold War with the United States. I don't think it's about a — as I said to him, I said, your generation and mine are about 10 years apart. This is not a kumbaya moment, as he used to say back in the 60s in the United States, like, let's hug and love each other. But it's clearly not in anybody's interest, your country's or mine, for us to be in a situation where we're in a new Cold War. And I truly believe he thinks that. He understands that. But that does not mean he's ready to, quote, figuratively speaking, lay down his arms and say, come on. He still, I believe, is concerned about being, quote, encircled. He still is concerned that we, in fact, uh, are looking to uh, take him down, et cetera. He still has those concerns. But I don't think they are the driving force. It's the kind of relationship he's looking for with the United States.